everyone um, for today's project I'm going to be using a box frame an 8x8 box frame and I'm going to do a vintage and um, I've got this beautiful image and I'm going to pop it inside there and I'm going to be decorating the mouth board I'm going to do some stenciling round the corner and at the top here and I'm going to have some flowers and butterfly and, and whatever so that's what I plan to do for this the frame was a bit damaged so I got the frame you know the box frame quite cheap so what I plan on doing is I'm going to um, crackle it I'm going to use um, deco uh, no I'm not I'm using do crafts brown and I'm going to put the, the crackle on and I'm going to leave it and go and have some lunch to let it dry naturally and um, because I like to I, I prefer the crackle to dry naturally than me blast it with the heat gun so that's what I plan to do so I'm going to turn you to overhead and we'll make a start okay so the fray I'm going to be using the mount board and I'm going to be using this stencil by Imagination Crafts with some modeling paste from PBO I've got an assortment of flowers some leaves and a butterfly and some pearl, pearl um, gems some um, embellishments so that's for the inside with my image and um, I've already made a start on decorating and painting the outside because I want to crackle it and I'm using chocolate brown by Do Crafts and I'm using played crackle home decor crackle medium and over the top I'm going to put Do Crafts linen so as I say I've already made a start and all I've done, all I'm using, I'm just using a sponge and I'm just dabbing it on. So while I finish this off, I'm going to um, fast forward and play some music. so that's all done now so what I want to do is I'm going to give it a quick blast with the heat gun and then I can put the crackle medium on and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it go and have some lunch and when I've had some lunch I'll come back and finish it off but in the meantime before I do that yes I am I'm going to do this first right, right I'm waiting for that to dry I'm just going to pop it out the way for a minute because I want to do a bit of stenciling. So I'm going to just position that. I'm just going to Use the modelling paste. I just want to use this bit here. Mm. Oh. I'm a messy crafter so what I want to do is I'm going to wait for that to dry and then I'll do that bit there okay 
hopefully that's dry now what I'll do is I'll give it another quick blast okay that's dry now so next step is to actually do the the crackle put the crackle on and all I'm using is a paintbrush I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to finish this side so I just need to give this a quick blast with the heat gun right. I'm going to try and line it up with what I did before let's see I'm going to leave that to dry now and I'm going to go and have some lunch and then I'll catch you all when I return. Okay this is all nice and dried now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the linen and I'm going to br brush it over and uh, I'm just going to I'm not going very heavy handed, I'm just going, giving it gentle strokes, I'm not going back over, I'm just going in the one direction all the way around. Um, while I do this, I'm going to uh, play some music and fast forward just as I finish it off. So that's done now <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that across to one side and I'm going to paint this with the cream, with the linen.
there we are so that's that done bring it up close there you are see so that's that done I'm going to give this a quick blast with the heat gun and then I'm going to get some brown and I'm going to dry brush over it just to make the uh, embossing pop a bit. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to give this a bit of a sepia tone because it's a bit too too dark. So I'm just going to um, go over this with them. Um, I'm using archival coffee, and I'm just going to uh, turn this down so it's like a sepia. tell when you need when you need to change your sponges because they go really start losing their thing I want to do before I put the picture in I want to do a little bit of dry brushing that's the frame done and I'm going to use a bit of, um, of my glossy accents
we go. So that's already. <clears throat> so I know this is the inside, so I know kind of where to put my embellishments. So I'm going to put my glue gun on. And while that's heating up. use some of the gold De La Rani gold and I'm just going to I'm just going to go around the edges of the frame like that so that's done I'll take the way I just want to leave that there for now while I start and um thingy I'm going to bring my flowers in and some of these ones I'm just going to add a bit of gold to them Add a little bit of brown as well. So they've got gold and brown on them. Um, while I do the others, I'll uh, play some music. Right, so that's all the flowers done. I need to chop all the stems now. Right. 
Right, okay, so I'm all ready to um, put everything together now. And what I'm going to do is, as I'm doing this, I'm going to... I'm going to fast forward while I'm doing it and play some music. So enjoy. that's um that's that done so i'm just going to put it together now okay so i put it in the frame now and uh, i hope you can see i know you've got the reflection of the camera overhead but i've really enjoyed this i hope you've enjoyed watching um and i look forward to seeing you again real soon and uh, that's all from me for today happy crafting bye bye